Hi, my name is Neil Hoffman. For my MA-52 project, I made a replica of a tin toy my dad has had before I was born. The part about this toy that got me really interested in basing my ME-52 project around it was the fact that to make the toy, the designer connected all the pieces together using only metal tabs that fold over to keep everything in place. To stay true to that design, I made little tabs to use a sheet metal tool to bend over the tabs to simulate the folded tabs in real life. Quite a few problems with this at first, since I didn't know that the line that the tab is bended over has to be on the extruded face of the tab, but after figuring that out, it was pretty much just rinse and repeat for the rest. For the simulation, I wanted to test that the roof of the toy would react to somewhere to accidentally hit it. To test this out, I set the force to about 20 pounds, but I do not think that a force greater than that would be applied accidentally. And as you can see, the roof does not break, but it will be bent out of shape quite a bit. To make the rockets move, when I turn the crank on the side, I used the concentric mate to align the rockets to the rod, and then create a sketch on the ends of the curves to the rod, and added a coincident mate to keep the rockets attached to that part of the rod. Then I made two gears and made them together using the gear mate, and attached a crank to the end, so I spin in the crank, you make the rockets go up and down. It took a lot of effort and time, but I had a lot of fun making this product, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.